We're sure you've heard it before that LED is better than the typical incandescent bulb. But did you know that they actually use up to 80% less electricity? This is just one of several ways you can save money. So in today's video, we'll cover 19 smart ways to lower your cost of living in 2023. Number one, do it yourself. There's a vast world of DIY that you can venture into to help save. I'm certain that there's at least one thing in your home that could save you money if you learned the skills to do it yourself. A few examples could be staining or painting parts of your home and furniture, learning simple repairs like fixing holes in drywall, installing a deck, or even changing your flooring. Get creative and figure out how you can save money through DIY. Number two, eat at home. It's okay to get takeout once in a while as a treat, but it shouldn't be something you do weekly. Let me show you some simple math. If you're paying $15 a meal per person for a family of four, then you're paying $60 for a takeout dinner. Typically, dinners made at home cost about four times less, so you can expect to pay $15 for the same meal made at home. So just reducing your takeout by once a week means you can save up to $45 a week or $180 a month. That's huge. Number three, get a lower energy rate. Did you know that you can switch who you're getting your energy from? This is something I didn't realize, but for those who can't do anything more to lower their electricity bill, this may be the best option. According to GoBankingRates.com, you can save up to 30% on your utility bills by switching providers. Number four, rent out extra space in your home. It can be uncomfortable living with someone else in your home, but if you don't mind it, then you should consider renting out your spare rooms to make your cost of living cheaper or completely free. This is known as house hacking, and during this time when housing costs are through the roof, it may be an excellent option to help lower your cost of living. A way to offer the room is through the well-known app, Airbnb. Number five, weatherproof your home. Whether it's hot summers or cold winters, we all experience adverse weather that makes it hard to stay comfortable. However, a home that's not weatherproofed can cause you to spend tons of money on small areas where heat or cooling escapes, forcing you to increase or decrease the heat more frequently. Some great ways around this are to get thermal or light blocking curtains, block drafts, insulate your home, or just wear the appropriate clothing. For instance, sometimes I wear small gloves when my hands are really cold in the winter, so I don't have to turn up my heat. Number six, make a side hustle. There are so many ways you can turn a hobby into a new stream of income, and an extra stream of income means a lower cost of living. Do you like painting, drawing, gardening, or carving wood? These are all excellent means to start a side hustle. For example, you can propagate strawberry plants and sell them to friends and neighbors. If you have paintings, you can either sell originals or make digital copies that people can use as decoration on things like pillows or mugs. While it may start slow, any money helps. Want to know more about side hustles? If this video gets 300 likes, then we'll make a video on the most productive side hustles you can start in 2023. Number seven, pay down debts. You've heard it before, but consider it a friendly reminder to build a habit. Debts are always going to haunt you until you've paid them off. Unfortunately, it's easy to forget how an item that may have cost $100 can easily double if you're only paying the minimum amount on your loans. So focusing on getting rid of your debts can significantly reduce your cost of living, especially with the soaring interest rates. One of the best known ways to do this is to use the debt snowball method. Number eight, optimize your budget. You may already have a budget that works decently well for you, but have you considered optimizing it? If you're looking to save more and lower your cost of living even further, then take the time to analyze and improve your budget. This inevitably takes extra work because you have to go over your budgets from month to month but it's an excellent way to make your budget adaptable and to help you save more. Number nine, take a look at your home. 
Take a moment to look around every single item in your home. Do you realize that every single item used to be in the form of money? For some people, doing a meditation like this can really help you realize just how much you spend and how unconsciously you spend without realizing it. Practice this exercise once a day for five minutes, just to remind you how easy it is to spend money and how you can avoid it. Number 10, use it up, wear it out, make do, or make do without. These four tips bring a great sense of frugality through a simple method. For instance, if you've bought a used car and still managed to drive it for 10 plus years until it's at the end of the line, you know you've used it up as much as possible. Or you may have had a pair of pants that you've worn out for 15 years until it got a massive, unrepairable hole. Maybe you've had a phone screen that cracked, but the phone itself is still usable, so you make do and make do without by not buying a new one. Number 11, declutter your closet. When was the last time you cleaned out your closet? The last time I did, I found out that at least 50% of the items I had, I was not wearing at all and neither did I plan to wear. The problem is when you don't know what items you have, it's easy to buy more. So when you finish this video, take all of your clothes, put them on your bed and start going through them. The first pile is clothes you know you'll never wear, which you can sell or donate. The second pile will be clothes that you're not sure about. And the third pile is clothes you know you'll wear. Number 12, empower yourself. The more you can stick to frugal living and confidently stand your ground despite what others say, the more likely you are to continue down a frugal path and easily reduce your cost of living. For instance, you may have friends that splurge a lot of money and will give you a scoff or a side eye and judge you for not buying something. And at that moment, even though conflict isn't nice, it's a moment to prove why you're being frugal. And who knows, maybe you'll convince them to start saving too. Number 13, free fitness. Most people with gym memberships don't actually use the gym. So utilizing free fitness specifically for your health is the best option. The most overlooked and useful free fitness exercise you can do is walking. Yes, walking is very easy for most of us, but a simple heart rate increase for 30 minutes is not only excellent for your heart, it's also very good for helping you relax and be in a happier state of mind. Being in a happier state of mind means you'll be happier with what you already have, causing you to spend less. Also, it's a great pastime that would normally be used for something that would likely cost money. There are lots of unique ways to save money, and if you want to learn more, then subscribe to Investors Weekly to learn the best tips. Number 14, do a pantry clean out. A challenge I'd like you to do, which is something I like to do myself once a week, is to go through my pantry and make breakfast, lunch, or dinner with items I can find in my pantry only. This can be really tough at first, especially if you don't have cooking experience. So use Google or YouTube to help you. But I'm sure you'll find some amazing recipes that you may cook for years to come, all the while saving money. Number 15, lower utility bills. With the changes in the economy, utility bills are skyrocketing. In fact, my energy bill nearly doubled since I've had the house, which is absolutely insane. For some, this number may be too much to handle, so I'll give a quick list of ways you can reduce your utility bills. Number 16, keep all receipts. Receipts are extremely useful for keeping track of your spending, but they're also a ticket to returning an item that you no longer want or is defective. A great example is gift cards. Most of the time, we assume that a gift card is loaded with the amount of cash you bought it for, but mistakes happen. In fact, this mistake happened to me, but luckily I kept the receipt so I could get the gift card filled with the appropriate amount of money. Number 17, one in, one out. This rule is simple and effective in making sure that you never have too many things and that you're always making the most of the items you currently have. For example, if your child wants a new toy, then they'll have to give up a toy to make room for the new one. An example for adults could be that you're looking to buy a new sweater, so you have to give up one you already have to make room for. 
This rule is an excellent way to reduce your cost of living by helping you buy less. Number 18, I'm not buying why this month. Instead of simply not spending on anything outside of the necessary, pick something that you struggle with that's causing you to overspend. This helps you break habits one at a time, which is much easier than trying to break many at once. A few good examples that many people will struggle with is coffee, takeout, and alcohol. Try going an entire month without purchasing one of these items and see how much you saved in comparison to months that you would have bought them regularly. Let us know in the comments below how it worked out for you. Number 19, switch to LED. Lasting longer is one thing, but the significant reduction in electricity use is amazing if you're looking to reduce your cost of living. Not only do you have to replace your bulb way less frequently, but you'll know that with every moment that it's on, you're saving money. 